How are you alive? I can see your ribs. <laughs> Terrain gaming Karen in Dead Space. I'm still really anxious and I know what's about to come. Time to fight the regenerator. Set him on fire as hot as the sun. Ready to tank. Grown. Delicious sweet potatoes. Dead Space, by the way. Remake. If you couldn't tell, from the PS5. Oh, it's Valentine's Day. Oh, it's Valentine's Day. Going in there. Did you leave any goodies? Do you want to go just in there? when I go in shops, enemies tend to be like, hi. Oh.
I'm so scared of blood. I was going to be left behind. The doctor understood. He fixed everything. He said there was gas that could help me. He made sure all the pipes were connected. He said now all we have to do is breathe, and the holy creatures will come for us too. Nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Oh, he euthanized them. Sorry, late shift. How are you? I, um... My mother, she's, um... Octavia? How's she doing? <laughs> she's dead, Nicole. They both are. She killed my dad, then herself. Oh. Yeah. The church... I took the bodies before I could, uh... Oh, my God. Oh, Isaac, I'm... so sorry. Walking in and told you Stop, washing. stop it. Just stop talking. You said she was herself again. You said she would be better at home. Trusted you. God. You might as well have killed him yourself. Oh, wow, it was better. You told me to leave for the Ishimura. You, you pushed me to... You know what? Go to hell, Isaac. Nicole. Nicole! Nicole! I didn't... Oh, God. No. Not her, too.
Isaac. It's me. I wish I could talk to you. She wanted to talk. I didn't. I'm sorry. I can make it right. I'm sorry. I can save us both. About everything. Retrieved. Is it recording? Can't miss anything. There's just cruelty. He was deciphering how the marker's signal affects the brain and how... Oh my god. Ah, uh, Dr. Brennan. Let me guess. Terence Kine let you in. Shame he's not here. He didn't understand how this tragedy represents a chance to cure death. Oh. Cure death. These creatures. Reanimated tissue, cellular immortality. I, I know we've never seen eye to eye, but I understand now. There's... So many I should have saved. So you came to me? Because you've learned how to communicate with the marker. Uh. I'm so close. I, I thought it must have the secrets that I need. You are a woman of science. Not faith. Leave the marker to me. You should have killed him then. These are your autopsy notes. Very thorough. You'll need them peer reviewed, of course. And poor Terence isn't here to help you. Yes. There's only one man I trust now. Very thorough indeed. And useful for Mr. Harris's next search. She gave him the information to make the fucking regenerator. No related freak activity has been logged. Fuck Saint Nicole.
heads and some feet. All standing up. Looks what? Going back in there in Deluxe Quarters. Legs. So, where is it?
I'm not gonna hurt you, but I feel sick. That's the tires. is planet cracking? Planet cracking is quite literally the dismantling of planets and moons on a macro scale. Wow, we had the first one in this pamphlet before. Dedicated vessels known as planet crackers. Entire worlds are fractured with gravity tethers to reveal the rich seams of valuable minerals contained inside. This fractured piece of debris are mined, processed and shipped to their destination. You may have read environmentalist report claims claiming the destruction of a planet can destroy an entire solar system due to the disruption in the gravitational forces that hold each celestial object in orbit. Some of the wilder reports claim this causes the whole system to spin out of control or planets to smash into each other. We would direct dark concerned investors the article Safe and Sustainable CEC's Pledge to the Health of the Galaxy for a detailed breakdown of the truth about planet cracking. The short answer is planet cracking, crack, crapping, crafting is perfectly safe and provides an essential service to Earth and colonies. Out of over three dozen planet cracks, only one operation has met with less than optimal results. Critics of its site, the Wadat disaster, 11 years ago, where in a planet cracker, three supply ships and a colony were lost due to the gravity tether failure. They rarely mentioned that since this time, CEC has strengthened relationships with our manufacturers, committed to the regular crew training seminars, and implemented safety protocols to ensure a disaster of that magnitude can never happen again. Before each planet crack, the candidate worlds carefully chosen for their mineral content, net worth and the safety which, with which they can be dismantled. Planet crackers are also invaluable for harvesting asteroids and rogue planetoids which dis present a deadly risk to expensive infrastructure and installations. A detailed breakdown. Planet cracking is... I want to read it but I don't think you guys want to read it. I will read it in post. got pretty far, <laughs> but that was too much man. And you know for a fact I will read it. In the bedroom. Oh my god, more reading. Oh, it's Matthias' bed. God damn, you just should run on the ship. So far, I know for sure. Oh no, it's not. It's Dr. White. Unitolite user he hates the marker heads. Matthias, Kind, Mercer, Holt, Native Adadada. What? That many senior officers just happen to be marker heads? Can't be a coincidence, and I know a stacked deck when I see one. Checks and files. A lot of those reassignments started after Director Eckhart got chatty with the Czech captain. Since when does a sea suit give a damn about this? Marker, they need a marker as well. Infidel! Infidel, is that what cost you a life? Go to Matty's house. Oh no, that's Dr. White's house. This is Matty's house. No, I'm gonna go to Matty's house. Banjo Mama for old. Oh mate, he was Lupiola. Confidential. Referencing the pre-departure discussion, I am blessed to report that the vested have authorised a premium stasis capsule for you aboard the Church's Holy Fleet. Grats! Generous donations over the past years have covered the post-mortem status soon. 
all post-mortem stasis and cryopreservation fees. But I cannot guarantee which arc will safeguard your physical body. All fleet vessels. Well, I cannot guarantee which part of the design to it. Centuries of deep space operations and equipped for the state of the art defense technology ensuring the convergence will proceed without interference when the holy hour approaches. Die, get frozen, get blasted up into space. I must reiterate that the birth is conditional upon the successful completion of your pilgrimage. Once the marker is safely delivered into church's hands and all. Who's still screaming? Electronic records have been. Appropriately amended, I will be pleased to formalise your resting place amongst the church of the most blessed, including Altman himself. Praise be the Lord and its prophets. Damn. What a mental bastard. We've done Dwight, we've done Matty B. We're having them in the bathroom. Let's go and. I can't go in yet. Oh! Lieutenant Hull. Let's break into the FBI. Can I just have a bit of respite? No monsters for a bit? Who's coming out the loo? Can I destroy this? Two hands. <laughs> One hand washes the other. It was a bit of a mess, but that's nice. Oh. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Just a power note. Back to 
the main room. My friends, is this what you hoped for when you signed your lives away to the church? Does this carnage look like transcendence? I don't know what lies beyond death. Not anymore. But I do know our lives are more than just fuel for convergence. If we work together, we can fight this evil. It's not too late. Oh, wow. Kind of turned on the church. She said as if she didn't know anything. Remember, we spoke on the valley. If you're real, let me in. I need to destroy that cluster behind you. Not yet. Not, if you escape on that shuttle and you'll kill us all. When they took the marker from Aegis 7, it woke the being in the core of the planet. Turn the marker to Aegis 7. It'll stop the outbreak? Exactly. But we need the shuttle to return it to the planet. You have a singularity core. And I can let you through. So what do you say? If it'll end this for good, deal. Excellent. I, I, I can distract Mercer, but not for long. And get the marker to the shuttle bay quickly. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Martin, for helping me fix my mistakes. Appearance confirmed. only a voice at first, but now she is my constant companion again. I've forgotten how much her presence soothes me, and as always, she sees the heart of the problem. The marker must be returned. Perhaps there's been some sort of accident, some severance. Do the marker and the hive mind always coordinate, or can the hive mind slip the marker's influence somehow? 
Regardless, if this theory is correct, if the two are now at odds, if the market can quell the hive mind, it would cut the puppeteer strings at a stroke. It seems obvious in retrospect, these necromorphs have no intelligence. How could they? Yet there's clear rudimentary purpose behind their actions, especially the gathering of corpses. They're clearly following some drive to kill living organisms and gather biomass. Where does this drive them to? Come from, sorry. How does it command them? Do all the animals convert to the biomarker share this bond? Pack instinct? Or is the hive mind demonstrate a genuine telepathic communication, perhaps the first ever observed? How painful to admit that the marker's horror still hold a fascination for me. Now I think I understand my predecessors, those who first studied the black marker, rather better. The road to hell begins with an unprincipled curiosity. Foolish, foolish, foolish. I should have known the sabotage in the engines was only a stopgap. Are we returning to Earth? Is the marker's failing, falling back into the church's hands? Yes, Amelia, there were always alternate solutions. The engines, he's the one that... He's the one that fucked up. Is she more? Oh my god. I think he likes her, don't you? Crush on his wife. Three notes. Move. Retrieve it. I don't want to. Um, but I'm going to. But I'm not going to until the next episode. As I said, I'm going to just get home. And we're quite near the end of the game now. Um, we've got to kill the regenerator and Mercer, and then we've got to go down to Aegis 7. So, until next time, thanks so much for tuning in. Bye! <laughs>